set, please. On the second day of Christmas, my true love gave to me four cakes with fruit in them, three regifted fruit cakes, two slices of fruit cake, and a fruit cake in a fruit tree. He's needy and desperate. Like he's been around, and like no one will likes him. Hey, that's a little hurtful. He's not annoying. He's a cute, lonely. He's kind of like, oh boy, how can I, how can I describe it? He's definitely a cute guy that should be capped. I mean, all the girls back in the office want to have Frank. You got that right, baby. <laughs> he doesn't have a home. He he's a an orphan, basic. And and there's something funny about that because it's true. No one likes fruitcakes, you know, like. I thought of this actor from the 80s called Bobcat Goldthwait, who uh, is famous for the Police Academy movies. Uh, lo and behold, we got him to do it, and I think that that was a big help because he brought a lot of okay. his personality lower, into it. Lower, no, no, back up, more to the right. Ah, ah, oh. whoa, hey, is that a mistletoe? How about that, weird. So all of us together had to sit and think, well, you know, let's say we click on him at this moment, and then you know, we interrupt him a moment later and click again. Or maybe we add a little bit of the personality of Frank and the personality of the experience into those moments. And then Frank just does his thing, which is he just starts talking and he keeps talking. But you have the opportunity to send him away and a sign drops down and he'll always object and protest and try to stay. He'll, he'll try anything, he'll, you know, he'll, he'll dance for you or, or he'll give you some sob story that he's probably made up. If you're kind of a sucker and you fall for it, then he'll calm down again and um, just start talking again. Uh, I'm Brian Herring and I'm the puppeteer for Frank the Fruitcake. Frank's a very lovely fellow. Uh, he doesn't move around much and I like puppets that don't do that. <laughs> Who wouldn't want a fruitcake? Thank you.